What's up, you guys? So I wanted to come to you guys and talk to you all about a DNC. Now, I've been hearing a lot about it on the internet, um, specifically because one of the uh, like 19 kids and counting, um, Jessa had a DNC for a spontaneous abortion that she had, and she was getting criticized about having an abortion. And so I wanted to just kind of clear up a little bit of the myth on what a DNC is and what it's actually used for on a consistent basis, um, especially in the inpatient setting. Uh, so if you are interested or curious as to what a DNC is, this video is for you. What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, I wanted to talk to you all about a DNC. I'm in OBGYN and a lot of times we do use DNC at my particular hospital, but specifically for, um, you know, dealing with retained products of conception. Uh, now products of conception can be the actual fetus or placenta, even if it's a piece of the placenta, that can cause issues moving forward because um, any retained products of conception after a spontaneous abortion will lead to abnormal uterine bleeding. So, you know, somebody may have a missed abortion or they were pregnant and then no longer are pregnant. They didn't pass all of the products of conception. And then now all of a sudden they've been bleeding for weeks and they come to the hospital with a low hemoglobin. They're extremely anemic and we're consulted as the OBGYN team to come and see like what's going on. So that's when we will typically get an ultrasound or ask for an ultrasound. And if there are retained products of conception seen, uh, we offer either a chemical option which is giving you like cytotec to help kind of the uterus contract down and the cervix open up so products of conception can pass or we offer the surgical management which is a dnc now a dnc is not an abortion it is not an abortion although it is used in an abortion, okay? And so um, just making that distinction, a DNC is exactly what it says it is. It's a dilation and curatage. So a dilation of the cervix, which is the lower portion of the uterus that you can actually see when you do a pelvic exam, you put the speculum in, you see the ureter, the, the, you see the cervix, right? You see the os of the cervix, which is the hole or opening of the cervix. And um, in the DNC, that hole or opening, the os is actually dilated dilated like it would if you were about to have a baby. It's opened up so that you can then take an instrument and um, do the curating, like actually do the scraping of the lining. So that is what it is, okay? It is a dilation and curatage of the uterus. It can be used in an abortion to get all of those products of conception out, um, you know, but typically, uh, DNCs are performed when um, there is no longer a heartbeat, um, you know, the products of conception is retained or pieces of products of conception are retained. Um, this treatment is typically like very like therapeutic and life-saving at times it can be because sometimes people come in with like extremely low hemoglobins i've seen people come in with like hemoglobins of four which is bananas because you're like how are you still walking around but it happens um, and so on top of getting a dnc they usually get a transfusion um, another thing is let's say you had a spontaneous abortion like your body um, you know spontaneously aborted that particular pregnancy uh, but not everything was passed and it now becomes infected and you have a septic abortion essentially um, where you can like actually become septic and extremely sick which again is life-threatening and so uh, a DNC is really important in, the, in that sense as well along with IV antibiotics um, as needed. Right. And so just wanted to talk to you guys about that. Um, a DNC is, again, not an abortion. Uh, it is exactly what the surgical procedure is called. Um, it is used to treat abnormal uterine bleeding, retain products of conception, and sometimes also used for um, biopsies of the uterine lining. Um, but and then also sometimes used for abortions, but it is not in and of itself innately an abortion. Okay, so hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of insight. If you do ever go to the hospital and 
you do have like some abnormal uterine bleeding and it was found that you were pregnant and there are still products of conception, um, this is an option for you that, you know, likely will be offered, especially if your cervix is closed and, um, you know, they see that for whatever reason, like maybe you, you had a missed abortion like a week or two ago, um, then the DNC would be offered. Okay. All right. Hopefully this is helpful. I just wanted to drop you guys a little bit of knowledge <laughs> on that. Um, if you have any questions about the procedure or any questions, um, just in general, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Ivana PA and on Instagram at Get That C University, where we help you not only get into and through PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.